Hello there. How are you? Who's on here with me? Hey, Tiki. Me, hey, Mimi, Michelle. Jane, Lena. How are y'all doing? Welcome. Saturday. It's a little late. Um, looks like it's going to rain here today. Let me see if I can just fix this just a little bit, y'all. Don't pay me no mind, but it looks a little crooked. Hopefully, I won't have a catastrophe doing this. All right, that might be a little bit better. Y'all, come on in. Thank you for the thumbs up. Y'all, give me a thumbs up. We got another quick meal tonight. What does that say, Samantha? Eclipsa XD, hello. Hi, Half Curly. Y'all come on in. It's 24 people. Oh, wow. Miss Doris Randall says hi. Hi, Miss Doris. Okay, we're doing a quick meal today. I'm doing lamb chops. Now look, I know a lot of people don't eat lamb chops, but we love them. And that's what I'm doing this evening. Hi, Miss Lois. Hi, Miss Angela. How are you all doing? So we're going to do some lamb chops real quick. I already have them seasoned. Let me show them to you. I let them marinate just a couple of hours. That was all the time I had. In some um, garlic, soy sauce, rosemary is in here, and then just your basic seasonings, okay? I cook my lamb chops in a lot of garlic. Lots. Mr. Says, Hi, Miss Darlene. Okay, I've got some potatoes on for mashed potatoes. And y'all over here, we're going over here. Hi, the bomb. We're well, going over here and we're going to make a broccoli salad. My pause. Miss Angela is asking if lamb tastes gamey. I guess it would taste gamey if you're not used to it. I grew up on it. My kids grew up on it. Um, so it's not to me. I, I've become accustomed to the taste, but I love it. We, I make lamb stew, but I do notice when I've, I've only posted a couple of videos of lamb and I, and not too many people watch that lets me know not too many people eat it, but we're going to have some tonight. Cause that's, uh, some of my fam, one of my family's favorites. Okay. So let's get started on our broccoli salad. It's, I know y'all, I got a lot. I know, it's a lot. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got a small kitchen. Ma, um, really quickly, Miss Angela is asking, she says, how can you prepare it so that it doesn't taste like game? I heard to soak it in buttermilk. I don't know. I've never done it because like I said, it doesn't taste gamey to me. I'm cooking it the way my mother always cooked lamb. And I've cooked it this way um, since I've been cooking. Miss Moni Jackson says, hello, Miss Carrie, I love lamb chops. Hi, Miss Moni. Good. Somebody likes lamb. Miss Michelle says, it sounds delicious. Yes. Okay, so this broccoli salad, very small one. Okay, now I, I'm going to tell you, I cheat because I steam. Th this is fresh broccoli. Okay, it's fresh. I cut it off the stems. But I did blanch it for about five minutes, okay? We don't, we don't like raw broccoli, all right? So it's not done done, but I've taken that real hard crunch off of it, okay? And this is going to be real simple, a real, and everybody makes this different. And while we're doing this, y'all, I'm turning on my eye for my lamb chops. I'm going to start them on this little gr griddle over here, and then I'll put them in the oven for about 10 minutes or so. Mama, but anyway, let's get started. Miss Solano, Elaine Solano, she says, hi, Miss Carrie. Good to see you and everyone via YouTube messaging. And thank you, Miss Carrie, for my $50 gift card I want to receive. Oh, you're welcome. Hello, Miss Elaine. Eclipse XD says, I already know this is going to be good. Miss Susan Welt says, hello. Hi, Miss Susan. Miller. She said, it sounds yummy. I will try them. I wasn't saying I don't like them. Thanks for sharing. Oh, and then one last person, Miss Janet Faircloud. Mm -hmm. She says, hi, Miss Carrie. Hi, Miss Janet. Today. She says that she loves lamb chops. Well, good. What I'm going to put in this broccoli salad, I want to be sure y'all can see it. Samantha, tell me if they can see it, because I got the words in front of me. Uh, yes, but can you, like, scoot it down a little bit? Here? No, 
No, like, I mean, get a little closer. Like, that, that's as thing. close as I can get. I'll be on the floor. Oh, okay. No, you can. All right, y'all. So we have some broccoli. This was one head of broccoli, okay, that I cut up. And I told you that I blanched it just a little bit. We're going to take and we're going to put some. And this is a good summer salad, y'all. Really good. We're going to take and I'm going to put just a few shredded carrots in it. Hey, Anything you want to leave out, you can. Mom, Cicely S. She says, hey, Miss Carrie, greetings from New York. And she says, hi, Samantha, hello. Hi, Miss Cicely. And I'm not going to put a lot of carrots because I want to put cheese in here, too. My daughters didn't think we should have both. But we're going to have both, y'all. I said the carrots. I said we should have carrots. My Miss Cynthia Joyce says, hi, Carrie. How long hi, have you Miss been Hi, Miss Cynthia on? Joyce. She says, how long have you been on? We just came on. We just came on. We're starting with our broccoli salad. I've got potatoes on the stove for uh, mashed potatoes, and we're doing lamb chops. Okay. Hi, Mr. Cloud. I'm, I'm well. Hope you are as well. Okay, so let's finish this up real quick, and we'll get it in the fridge. I'm going to put in some red onion, y'all, and I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to cut it right here in my hand, but I'm going to cut it thin, okay? There's 38 people. Welcome everybody. My chef Jeff, he says, "Hey y'all, lamb chops. I'm ready for this. Love me some lamb chops." Hey chef Jeff. Okay, I'm cutting up my red onions really, and you can use any kind of onions you want. Like I said, this can be made any way you want to make it. Anything you like, you put in your broccoli salad. My Miss Cynthia Joyce, she says, "Thanks. I am ready." And Miss Ann Jordan, she says, "Hi, Hi Miss Ann. I caught you live." Yes. Okay, y'all. I know I'm moving kind of slow today. That's how I feel. <laughs> slow. Okay, but we're going to get it done. This is a quick meal. And I like onions. So I'm going to put quite a few, okay? There's our onions. Let's cut it all up. Why not? I'm cutting it real thin. And these are red onions, so they're not going to be too strong. Mom, did you say you were going to put it in the fridge? Yeah, after it's done. Mom, Miss Charlene Land. Mm -hmm. Oh, she says, hi, Samantha. Hope you're doing well, too. Hello. And she says, hello to all of Carrie Cozy family. Okay. Now, next in here, I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. Mom, Cynthia Joyce says onions are healthy. Yes, and they're good. I'm going to put a little bit of all-purpose. Got my Greek all-purpose here. We're just going to put a little bit for some taste, y'all. Just a smidge. Mom, is Carolyn Smith. Says, um, hello, Miss Karen. Everyone, happy Saturday. Hi, Miss Carolyn. Hello, and Miss Angela Miller. She says, You all be eating good. Love it. Looks so good. Okay, we got some plain. Thank you. We got some plain yogurt. Okay, and I also have mayonnaise. Let's put them both in. Mom, Miss Jan. We're going to mix it and put them both in. Mom, Miss Jan DeBarro. She says, Hello, I just got here. What are you cooking? Broccoli salad. Lamb chops and mashed potatoes. Mom, it's Linda Coleman says hello, hanging out with you all. Now, I'm not measuring anything, y'all. We're going to put some mayonnaise in here. And you put as much as you need. Okay? I'm going to put that little bit of mayonnaise and we're going to put some of this plain Greek yogurt in. And I just got a little container of it because this is all I'm using this for. You can probably add some fruit. Yeah, we can add fruit to the rest of it. I'm going to use about half of this container, which is a 5.3 ounce. Okay? I'm mixing it. And we're going to put this in here. I also have some bacon, y'all, that I cooked. We're going to crush that up in here. Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, let's put that yogurt and mayonnaise in. Now, if you want to put some fresh parsley, I, you know, I, actually, I do have some, but I didn't cut any up, so I'm not going to put y'all through that. What's that, my parsley? Fresh parsley, yeah. Fresh parsley would be good in here, y'all. Let's get our bacon. I'm going to rinse my hands off. We're going to get our bacon. Miss Kenya Shankle says, hi, Miss Carrie. Happy Saturday. Y'all, that sounds great. I've never Hi, Miss Kenya. Y'all, let's take a look at the stove real quick, okay? Let's take a look at the stove because we need to get... I got my, my grill on, and we need to get the lamb chops going. 
I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on here. Can y'all see this grill? Put a little bit of olive oil. Okay. So give them a head start. They don't they don't make a whole lot of anything, these lamb chops don't. Now for the lamb chops, can you bring in your camera just a little bit? Yeah. Like with the grill. Yeah. Okay. These are our lamb chops, and if you wasn't on earlier, they've been marinated only for about two and a half hours. I took them out to bring them down to room temperature. They're sitting in fresh rosemary, fresh garlic, lots of garlic, oh, yeah. um, soy sauce, and my seasonings, which is just basic seasoning. Salt, pepper, I put a little Laurie's. Okay, and we're going to drop these bad boys on this grill. See, the grill is not hot yet, so I need to let it get hot, y'all. Oh, I had it backwards. Sorry. So we'll go back to the broccoli salad. Don't worry about it. This live, right? It's live. Let's go back and finish up our broccoli salad, y'all. That grill ain't hot. Okay, so we have that. Let's put our bacon in. See that bacon, that crunchy, crunchy, crunchy bacon, y'all. Just on, break it up in there. Come on, Sassy. It says, happy Saturday. Hi, Miss Sassy. Miss Sharon Huggins. She says, hi, Miss Karen. So happy Saturday. Hi, Miss Sharon Huggins. There's 56 people. If you don't want the bacon, don't put it in. Oh, my. It's just going to make it better. Miss Jacqueline Lindsay says, hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. Hi, Miss Jacqueline. All right, y'all. Mom, is this your joy? She's saying that she had lamb, ch lamb chops last year for the first time. Mm. And that they were delicious. Yeah. I'm rinsing my hands from that greasy bacon. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm in your way. All right, y'all. And I think that's it. We put our little bit of seasoning in, our onions. I want to put a little apple cider vinegar in it. My Miss Laverne M says, hello, Mrs. Carrie. If I have any, who is that? Laverne M. Hi, Miss Laverne M. Miss Mary Addison. Let's take and put just a smidgen, just a smidgen of this apple cider vinegar, y'all. Mom, did you hear me, Miss Mary Addison says, hello? Hi, Miss Mary Addison. Hi, Ms. Miss Margaret Washington. Hi, Miss Margaret Washington. Good afternoon, Miss Carrie. It's a hot day here in Tallahassee. I've always wanted to learn how to prepare lamb chops. Yes. Lamb chops can be fixed several ways. Y'all, y'all see that? And it looks like it needs a little bit more mayonnaise, and that's okay. We're going to add some. You want me to try it? No. Am I in the camera with this bowl? Yep. And if you missed, if you missed the first part, I said, and this is a small salad, it's not a big one. I did blanch my broccoli because we don't like biting down on raw bro broccoli. Okay, y'all. Mom, And y'all, to this, I'm just breaking up some of this broccoli. I'm gonna add some cheese. Mom, Erica Lawson says everything that you make looks so good. Thank you, Miss Erica. Miss Angela Miller, she mm -hmm. says the summer salad looks amazing. Yes. Um, Perfect for the summer, y'all. Perfect. That's what I said. Mom, Miss Martha Clark, she says, Miss Carrie, how are you? I am here enjoying you with Carrie and your meal. I was in Barbados last week. Oh, wow. She says that she's back in Canada now enjoying your meal. Okay. Wow. Thank you. That's cheese, y'all. That's sharp chat. Cheddar cheese, if you don't want it in there, don't put it in there. My Miss Jan Navarro, she says, Mrs. Carey, you and old school should do a video collab. Yes, that would be nice. That would be something Chef Jeffrey would have to initiate. Mr. <laughs> Chef Jeffrey. <laughs> okay, y'all, that's that's it. Let's taste this. See if we got that's enough seasoning in it. Hmm? That's what I just said. You want me to taste it? Mm, 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 mm. It's good, y'all. I'm going to put a little salt. Mm, that is good. A little salt. 
Because when I steam that broccoli, I didn't put any in there, I must admit. That's it. That's all. Okay? It's as simple as that. Now, if you want to put some raisins in here, if you want to get real fancy with it, go ahead. Go ahead. Ja Miss Gail Jackson says hello to us. Hello. Hi, Miss Gail Jackson. Miss Angela. She says, wow, yum. Mama Cynthia Joyce is asking if you put walnuts in your salads. I'm not a nut eater like that. Now, it's nothing wrong with it. But if, the, if, if my nuts is not in chocolate or some kind of candy or some kind of cake, something chicken sweet, salad. I don't put nuts in chicken salad. Mm -mm. I won't. I won't eat nuts. They have to be in something sweet. Okay, y'all. That's done. Okay. First, Miss Jane Lena says that would be a great video class, and then you have to give Miss Gail Jackson a shout out because she sent you a whistle thing. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Miss Gail Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll come back to that salad. Let's get get over here on these lamb chops because it's hot now. Thank you, Miss Jackson. So yeah, good. in fact, this, this one here is cooking. It's been cooking while we were on that salad. Why wow, it's so good. Yeah, it is good. Y'all see all that garlic on there? We got rosemary. Mmm. Come on, that salad is so good. It's good. It's good. Don't eat it all. It's, it's for dinner. No, I literally just started. Y'all, she already started to eat my salad. Oh, my, I did it. I I got a little bit of olive oil on this griddle. That's rosemary, y'all. Rosemary goes. Really, really good with lamb, rosemary, and garlic. Mama Jen, says, I so want to try lamb chops. How do you cook them? Now, you don't have to put lamb chops on this griddle, okay? You don't have to. Um, a lot of times I put them straight in the oven. I season them up and I put them straight in the oven, okay? Now, you y'all know, I done told you before, the temperature goes down on this, okay? Now listen to this. Miss Ann Huggins says, Miss Ann, I am in the kitchen making your mustard and turnip gravy. All right. And some dry lima beans for my dinner tonight. Oh, sookie. She says, and we'll make your meatloaf and yams as well. You are my inspiration. Oh, good for you. Who is that? Miss Sharon Huggins. Miss Sharon Huggins, you go ahead on. My shy G. Um... I'm here, y'all. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Yes. Now, y'all, that first lamb chop that's been cooking a minute, I'm taking it off. They're not going to cook long on here because they're going to go in the oven for, for about 10 minutes. Mom, Miss Navarro? Yeah, lamb is like cooking any other meat. Now, if there's something people do special, uh, somebody asked me about the gamey taste. If there's something special, I don't know it because we've always eaten them. We have always, I've eaten them since I was a little girl. My children ate them since they were small. I love to get the shoulder pieces and make stew with. Sometimes you make it like a, like a roast, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lamb roast. Mommy, you know the world says, I learned something new every day, thank you. Yes. We all learn something new every day, I hope. So okay, awesome. aren't those gorgeous, y'all? They are beautiful lamb chops. Are you going to slide that in the fridge? Yeah, I'm going to put some plastic on it right now. It's, it's good. It's kind of like a thank you. Yeah, that's the yogurt. 
Oh wow. Come on, Miss Linda Coleman says have you cooked butter bean dumplings? No. I'm going to tell you about, okay, y'all, I'm putting this in the fridge, okay? For those who didn't see it, this is our broccoli salad, okay? Putting it in the fridge and wrap it up. I'm going to tell you about dumplings, y'all. I can and have made chicken and dumplings, but I'm not a fan of dumplings. I'm not a fan of anybody's dumplings. What about butter beans, y'all? Put this in the fridge, honey. I, when I was a young girl, I was living in New, New York. One of my cousins from here, she was young. She came and my mother let her make us some chicken and dumplings. <laughs> Y'all, that was the worst. And I remember it until this day. Even when I make them myself, it's hard for me to eat the dumplings because I think of those dumplings. Anything that's kind of doughy and it doesn't seem like it's really done, I don't like. So you will probably never see me fix chicken and dumplings or anything and dumplings, okay? We're gonna take these potatoes off. Come on, Miss. Um, I don't know what you're referring to, but somebody cooked chicken and dumplings. Yeah, I'm gonna cook chicken and dumplings. Thank you. Shy G says, have you cooked lamb shanks? Having a hard time finding them. Yes. With lamb shanks, I stew those too. My Yamisha Davis says, hello, Miss Carrie. Hope it's in the family are having a wonderful day slash evening. We are. How are you, Miss Misha? Miss Cynthia Joyce says that she can hear the sizzle. Yes. Miss Angela Miller says, Miss Carrie, for your mashed potatoes, do you use bread or the russet potatoes? Russet. When I fix mashed potatoes, and I've said this before in some of my videos, so some of y'all have heard it, bear with me, okay? I'm pulling off some of these. They're gorgeous. They're now, gorgeous. Thank you, Miss Janet Faircloth. And the 72 people on. Welcome to everybody. Y'all look at those. <laughs> oh Lord, look at these lamb chops. Now some are bigger than others, and I can't help that. That's the way they sold them. You know, you get a couple of small ones and a couple of big ones. Either way, they're 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 pricey, y'all. Lamb chops are pricey, and these are actually the, the least expensive ones. I'm getting some butter. I know y'all have seen those lamb chops that have what they call a lollipop lamb chop. Oh, yeah. Like the like the bumpy. I was saying, I know y'all have seen those lamb chops. Some people call them a lollipop lamb chop. I don't know what they're really called. I can't afford to buy them. They're very, very expensive. So I get these. You know, it's all the same meat. They just cut them differently. Okay, y'all, in, uh -oh, in our potatoes, and somebody asked me what kind of potato. Certain things that I cook, I use certain potatoes. And my daughter was just telling me, Samantha was just telling me she likes to, when she cooks potatoes, she likes red potatoes. And red potatoes are fine, but I don't like them for mashed potatoes because I like my potatoes to break down easily. Okay, I like them to break down and be smooth and creamy. Mom, I think you enjoy this, the lamb chops look delicious. Yes. And Jan DeBarro says that she's at the way for it. Can you come? How much is a lamb chop? How, how much as in money? I'm assuming. I guess it depends on what you live to. These lamb chops, I got 10 of them. And they cost me close to $30. Yes. And, the, and like I said, these are the least expensive ones. Okay. I'm mashing my potatoes. Y'all just saw me put about three four sticks of butter. And you know what? I'm going to add the rest of that stick. So we got a whole stick of butter in here. Miss Alicia Davis says that she's doing great. Thank you for asking. Oh, yes, Mom. And Miss Jan Woods referring to the price. Yeah. Is that the paper quality? Yeah. My mother, she cooked everything for us, y'all. Everything. We grew up up north. She lived there for over 40. She was actually born in the south, in Georgia. 
but she moved to, to New York when she was a teenager. I'm pulling some of these lamb chops off, y'all. Because you, you don't want lamb overcooked. That's another thing. Don't overcook your lamb. If you, if you do, it's, it's, it's a done deal. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these big ones stay on here a minute. So when this stuff goes in the oven... Mama Jen is asking if you put sour cream in your potatoes or cream cheese. Sour cream. In fact, I have some here I'm going to put in them. Okay, so I start off with a big mash. I've I told y'all that before, so if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. Mama Sharon, come in says that the lamb chop is delicious. Yes. Okay, so I start with my big one, big uh, masher. That helps me to break them down. And I'm, I'm really saying this for the people who haven't heard me say it before. Okay, and then I go in. I always do that with the small hole one, okay? That's to make sure I get all the knots out. And if you have some knots, so what? Miss Janet Fairchild says the same. Huh? She says, wow, the, the lamb chops look delicious. And then Miss Sharon Gobert, she says that she loves lamb chops, and there's 83 spots on them. Oh, good. Okay, now I've got I've got a little bit of a whip, heavy whipping cream. I'm going to put that in my potatoes. And I have some regular 2% milk, which is what we keep in the house, y'all. And I did salt my potatoes. I didn't forget, y'all. I Mama salted Miss, my potatoes. This is heavy whipping cream. My Miss Betty Clancy, she says, hi, Carrie. I love your video. Hi, Miss Betty. She says, keep up the good work. God bless you. Thank you. My Miss Linda Colvin says, you and I are doing a great job. Thank you. Y'all, these are those big lamb chops, so I'm just trying to make sure. Because I want them all to come out the oven at the same time. Mommy, your Misha Davis says, OMG, I have the same master in that color passed down from my grandmother. Same what? The same, um, like that master that you're using? Oh. She says, the same color. She says that it was passed down from her grandmother. Oh. Okay, y'all, let's finish up these potatoes. I put a stick of butter. I put some whipping cream. Let's get some sour cream in it before we add any more milk and see what kind of consistency we have. And if I haven't said it before, y'all, I so appreciate y'all coming on. I really do. I really do. And I always forget to ask y'all to share too late now, but when y'all come on, if y'all can think of somebody to share my videos with so we can get our numbers up. Okay, y'all. Sour cream. Y'all see that? Mm. So I used half of this eight ounce, y'all. I used half. Really? Yep. Okay, I'm taking these big Big ones off. Oh, yes. These are, like, gorgeous. These are, like, gorgeous. Those are, those are like the last ones that you made. Mm. Okay, I'm unplugging this griddle. Let me let y'all see these lamb chops. Mm -hmm. See those beautiful lamb chops there? Gorgeous. Okay. Put it down, like, tilt it down a little bit. If you can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, I want to keep that rosemary on there and that garlic does not burn up. Mama, Mimi Michelle, she's referring to, you know, coming on and stuff. She says, you're so welcome. Eclipse XD says, I love how you see. These are going in the oven, y'all. I got my oven set at 375. I'm let them stay in there about 10 minutes. Ma, Eclipse XD says, uh, I love how you seem very passionate about your channel. You heard Mama? Yes. Miss uh, Sharon Huggins says, I thoroughly enjoy your channel and try not to miss a video unless life happens. Miss Mary Addison says, Aww. you make cooking fun and enjoyable, and I love okay. your channel. All right, let's finish up these mashed potatoes. See, dinner is about done, y'all. Mr. Ling Land says, don't forget to give a thumbs up for Miss Karen. Yes, thank you. I'm just closing up stuff here, y'all. 
Okay, so let's look at these potatoes, which are almost done, okay? I just put my sour cream in, and I do that before I add in more milk. See if I even need more milk. You can put cheese in here. Some people put bacon in them. Yeah, you can put bacon in your mashed potatoes, but we, we got them in our broccoli salad tonight. Sorry, y'all. But y'all know Jean I got Watts. to get that off of there. Mama's Jean Watts is saying hello. Hi, Miss Jean. See how creamy those potatoes are already? My family loves mashed potatoes. Mom, Miss Charlene Harris says good afternoon, Miss Carrie. Hi, Miss Charlene. She says that she's from Maple Shade, New Jersey. You want some cheese in these potatoes? No, Mom. She you says, don't want look, cheese? No, Mom. It says, Mom, she's saying it looks so delicious. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Mm, all want, those potatoes. Mom, mm. If they want cheese, they can just add it. But don't forget it. Well, I was going to add it while they're hot. Okay, y'all. That's my potatoes. Now, what I'm going to do is put a little parsley in here. My Miss Audrey McCabe says hello. Hi, Miss Audrey. Oh, and then Miss Mar Miss Darlene is reminding everybody again for the thumbs up. That's right. A little bit of dry parsley, y'all. And these potatoes are done. Mama Cynthia Joy says, Carrie, I want you to watch the video and I will comment in a few and Miss Mary Addison is sending thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Okay. Ma, truth is, says, hey, Mrs. Carrie, love watching you. Hi, Samantha, you're so pretty and I love your hair. Like Y'all see those day. beautiful thank potatoes you. there? They're gorgeous. Oh, yeah, they're creamy. Yes, they are creamy yeah, and they are flavorful. Remember, I season my potatoes when I cook them, y'all. You got to season your your potatoes and your pasta. They won't have any taste. They'll be bland. Come on, Miss Miss Charlene Snow is saying hi. Hi, Miss Charlene Snow. Um, because when it when your when your food cooks, when your potatoes and pasta cooks up in that salt, it's just a big difference than adding it at the end. My Miss Audrey McCabe is saying that she just came on. She's asking, what are you preparing? We have broccoli salad. I don't know what I did with the lid. Lamb chops in the oven. And mashed potatoes. I could have just steamed that broccoli, but we were looking for something different. Yeah. It's hot here in Jacksonville, so a broccoli salad is really good in the summertime, y'all. And we'll be making food? some more salads. Miss Charlene Snow says that it sounds good. It smells good. Mm -hmm. So to keep this warm, y'all, we just put a lid on it. Ma, if you got cheese in your potatoes, I guess you can go ahead and add it. It's a few. But it's cheese in the um, broccoli. Doesn't matter what I like. Ma, yes, it does. Ma. <laughs> Ma, Cher, Cher B says, sounds delicious. Hi, Cher. Ma, Miss Darlene Land says, those mashed potatoes are creamy for sure. Yum, yum. Oh, my goodness. Yes. My truth is, says, how, she's asking, how do lamb chops taste? Because she'd like to try them, but she's not sure. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's like maybe you can go out to a restaurant, but I'm gonna tell you, if you get a lamb chop in a restaurant, <laughs> they're gonna be expensive. <laughs> That's like, why we cook our own. They have a different taste. My Miss um, Audrey McCabe says sounds good. All right, y'all. I'm just waiting on my lamb chops. Okay, well, listen to this, Mom. Mom, Jan says I put sour cream. Hi, Miss Jan. She says Jan. Um, that I put sour cream in my mashed potatoes. Thought I was doing something. My mother said, "Child, you ain't did nothing." She said she misses her mom. Oh. Two years since she's passed. Oh, so sorry. Oh yeah, sorry to hear that. My Sherry B says I wish I was one of your guests at your house because I know I'll be eating good. <laughs> yeah, we like to eat, y'all. Mama's that's Adams. that's my favorite pastime. I love to eat. Versus going out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mom, Miss uh, Tina Battle says she just got in joining you now. She says she has. Hi, Miss Tina. She says that she has collard greens, oxtail, mm. potato salad, mm. cornbread, turkey meat, pig feet, and sweet potato pie. Wow, <laughs> you got a whole meal. My truth is, I've been trying to find oxtails, and I tell you, the place where we normally buy them. Last couple times I went in there, I wouldn't buy them because they didn't look right. And you know, oxtail now for a family pack. Oh, yeah. Where I live, a 
anywhere between sixty and seventy dollars. My truth is that yeah, I know they'll be pricey, but I'm definitely going to order some. Oh yes, you should. But now, if I if I had found some that looked good, I would have bought them because we don't eat them that often because of the price. Why did you hear truth is this comment? What's that? She says that she knows that they'll be a little pricey, mm -hmm. but she's definitely going to order some. So I encourage yes. her to do so. Monta says that bacon grease goes well with the mashed potatoes. Yeah, no, <laughs> we're not going to do the bacon grease in it. We put plenty of butter. <laughs> Mama Charlene we put Snow plenty of butter, says but you're she, right. Mama Charlene Snow says that she loves garlic mashed potatoes. Mom, did you put garlic in them? Mm -mm. Oh, she says she No, you, you can put so. garlic. I have, you know, garlic powder or whatever. We oh, keeping it simple. Yeah. See, y'all, we're trying to be good. <laughs> All right, let us be good. I don't put heavy whipping cream. Milk. I don't put sour cream. So we are we are trying to be good. You talking about cheese? All Your right. Love it. I want y'all to see these lamb chops. They're not. I'm sure they're not done yet. But y'all remember, if you want to try, if you haven't, if you've never made lamb chops, don't overcook but them. We don't need this either. But Miss Cynthia Joyce don't is overcook them. About a dessert. She says, what about a dessert? Not a dessert tonight, but I think later on tonight, I'm going to make a coconut cream pie. Mm. Um, I've done that on camera, I know. But, um, and my desserts, people don't really watch my desserts. I don't know what's up with that. Mama I love de dessert. But I'm, I am going to make a pie tonight, and I'll have it, um, if I do, <laughs> if I do, it'll be a part of my Sunday's meal. My mom says I got to know y'all. Like another, because he, because he or she was the one saying about the about the uh, bacon grease. My truth is, is that old school soul food Jeff Jeffrey has the mm -hmm. oxtails for free. So lucky, I'm jealous. Yeah, I know, right? Um, as John, expensive as they are. I'm, I'm sorry, not John. Mom, Miss Jan DeBarro says that she used to get oxtails from her butcher mm. when she was living in New Jersey. Mm. Mom, Ms. yeah, I, I don't have a butcher. I don't have anybody that I could get. My anything Ms. from my Miss Laverne Hunter without paying says hello Mrs. Gary blessings to you and your family yes oxtails are expensive loving your meal yummy thank you Miss Linda Lapool is saying hello Mom. let me get the broccoli I'm gonna show y'all that one more time and these are lamb chops my there's a few more comments uh-huh I'm, I'm Ms. good Linda Lapool says hello uh, Linda hi Linda. Miss Linda Lapool Miss Sherry W says good evening Mrs. Gary hi Miss Sherry else. hello um CB. Hi, CB. I have. Says, hi, Miss Carrie. Oh, maybe I have. Hi, Miss Carrie. I finally caught up with you. I missed you. Yeah. I love lamb chops. Please make the cocoa cream pie for me, please. I love you. I'm not sure what she's referring to. Now, I have a video. Oh, coconut. It's just oh the coconut. Here. Okay, I was going I thought you meant the chocolate. I've done a chocolate cream pie on video as well. Um, Maybe I will do it on video. The coconut cream is easy. It's easy. It's the same as the banana. Ooh, I love that. When you make that pudding, you don't put in, of course, banana. You don't put in banana extract. I add a little bit of coconut extract, and I add fresh. Well, no, I'm lying. It's not fresh. It's out the bag. Um, the baker's coconut to it. Okay, and I put mine on a graham cracker because that's what I like. I do not put a meringue. I put a whipped cream on top. Mantubam is asking, where's the chef hat? Oh, I'm not a chef. <laughs> I'm just a home cook. Yep. I am a home cook. I've really been good. cooking a long time. Miss Jan is saying that you sound a little tired. Yep. I'm always tired, y'all. Whenever y'all see me, I just don't say it because I don't want to. I don't want to just rub that off on anybody. I'm always tired. My Eclipse XC says that it was great to watch your live, Miss Carrie. We're getting ready to eat this. And you see, it's just a little bit, but it's enough for us tonight because I'm cooking a dinner tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Sunday's meal. And I'm going to show y'all those those lamb chops like right now. I'll probably have to put them back in for five minutes. We can even cut one and see what it looks like, y'all. Let's do that. Ma, Eclipse XD says it was great to watch your live. Thank you. Um, Connie Sanchez says that she's making carne asada and pinto beans. Oh, wow. With fresh grilled salsa, probably mm. Napoli's, which is let me, get a, let me get a small sauce. Oh. So we're going to cut one of these lamb chops. Oh, so now listen to this. She's saying that it's this dish, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, called Napoli. 
Mm. She says, which is cactus, you can do it as a salad or saute. Mm. She says that she loves your video. She said she finally caught you live. She's in California. Oh, okay. Thank your you. Your mom says, um, love all the recipes that you're creating. Miss Betty Clancy says, no dessert because we sh uh, sure know you like or you cook like heaven. CB says, yeah, I've got a lot of y'all. I've got a lot of dessert videos yeah. out there. I mean, a lot. I've got different cakes out there. Um, because I used to do desserts all the time, but it seems like people don't really like dessert so much. My CB says, I've got Carrie, pies out there. She says, Miss Carrie, I, I think that's a little bit. She says, Miss Carrie, I'm not a baker. I wish I lived near you. Smile. <laughs> Um, the bomb says the best. All Shall right, y'all. This this appears to be a little red on the inside. I can see it already, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Don't want to overcook these, okay? I could have a sharper knife, but it, look. Oh, oh my you know, God. Perfect, y'all. Mom, are you listening? Oh, wait a minute. Sherry oh, let's look <laughs> at that. <laughs> look at that lamb chop, y'all. That is how it should look. Do not cook it any more than that. So I seared them, and they were in the oven for 10 minutes because I had my timer on. I don't know if you heard it go, go off, right? Now, sometime that fat, oh, my Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Sometime, I got a bone or something. Mm. Every now and again, this fat over here might be a little bit tough. I don't know why. It's not tough tonight, y'all. This is good. Now, if you feel like you need to cook that a little bit more, mm, I don't. But if you do, put it back in there for maybe two, three more minutes. That's it. Because overcooked lamb is not good. It doesn't taste good, okay? That is absolutely gorgeous, and it tastes good. My Miss Jan says... LOL, O-N-G. You guys just remind me of me and my mother just now. Mm. Mama Cynthia Joe says, I love watching your dessert videos. Keep making your desserts. Okay. Chuck says, thank mm. you for being transparent and sharing your family with us. This is Carrie. Talk to you later. Got a blast. All um, right, y'all. Let me show you the pan. Mm. Come on, just give me one second. Mom, Sherry W. says, I want to make the lemon cream pie, but Edward's lemon cream pie is so good that I have gotten lazy. Okay, y'all, that's the lamb chops. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. we fixing to cut up, y'all. Y'all know Wait, we are. Put them in the camera. They weren't the in the camera? camera? No. no. Where were they? Like, off to the side. Did y'all not see them? <laughs> she talking about put, put them in the camera. Y'all see them. Mom, Miss Cynthia Joy said mm -hmm. that you deserve the home-cooked chef hat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all, we finna cut up on this food. These Mama lamb chops. Huggins, yes. I watch your desserts and love them. I am making your lemon cream pie for tomorrow as well. Oh, well, good. Now, I got a lemon cream pie out there and good. a lemon meringue pie out there. You know, like Ooh, that yeah. that real lemon, uh, I don't know if you call it curd. I don't know what you call it, but I have both of them out there. I did a real quick one um, with just uh, cream cheese. But the other one I cooked on the stove, the lemon meringue, and it was the bomb. Cream it cheese? was everything, y'all. The cream cheese went in that real quick, quick one oh, I did. Okay. okay, yeah. There's like, like I said, check out some of my desserts. I will bring some back if I do that coconut cream pie tonight. I, I'll go ahead on and put it on camera. Okay. Mom, Shai G says that the lamb chops are smoking. Oh, I thought she meant like they're on fire, but you meant good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm old, y'all. Th <laughs> thank y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thank you again, Miss Jackson it was, it was somebody else, and Miss Janet Faircloud. Okay? Thank y'all so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. I love it. I love y'all. Um, I'll see you again. Now, y'all, I'm trying to get into the rhythm of trying to put together a video during the week, but Lord knows, y'all, it's hard, okay? It's hard. Last week was my late week at work. This week, I get off an hour earlier, so I'll see what I can do. I even thought about coming on doing a live the other night when I did cook. 
I was just too tired to turn on the camera. So we'll see, y'all. We will see because I know I need to do more. Y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend, okay? I'll see you soon tomorrow um, at my Sunday's meal. Bye-bye, y'all. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. And the bomb. And the bomb. Oh, you're welcome. Share me. Thank you, Samantha, for helping your mom. Yes. Bye-bye, y'all.